out yeah. thinking how glad you are. Now that spring is finally here. And then you get that phone call. Outside the heat muscle. Everything seems dreamlike after that. It's just weird. Sort of like your husband's routine, man. I always dropped him off at the station early on my way to work out at the gym. Was it unusual for him to stay here long? No, not at all. What's here for? He had a business dinner. There was a snowstorm. It was a godsend. Often we um we made a night of it after a party. He kept some things here, changes of clothing and so forth. Yes, a few things. These for instance. She likes Iowa. It's the yeah. And so far down the odd drawers for. The fence will show some signs of scarring, probably from a previous infarction. And there was a small plot in the aorta. Sexual activity? Nothing obvious. No carpet burns, no protruding flashlights. Dried semen. That guy's skin was still damp and lubricious. He just got out of the shower. If you were asking did he die in the saddle, I'd say doubtful. Although sex wasn't too far out of the picture. Viagra. A thousand milligrams in his blood, ingested orally maybe an hour before the big one hit him. So, what do you do, overdose? I mean, the stuff's as uh, safe as oysters, right? It's the speediest approval in FDA history. Well, both parts couldn't wait to get their own hands on it. So the guy's a pinstripe commuter right out of John Cheever country, but when he gets to the city... Just a couple of cocktail glasses rinsed and put away. No forced entry, no rough stuff. There was Viagra in his blood, but no trace of it in the apartment, no prescription. Nothing but a stray pair of panties, which the wife insists are hers. So what are we going on here? Man's intuition. Mm -hmm. Hey, after a certain age, there's two things a guy has he doesn't want to screw up. Uh, his golf swing and the remote control. His heart and his, you know, plumbing. I mean, you're careful unless you're just plain stupid. His cardiologist warned him. Plus his GP in Scarsdale. They both told him taking Viagra and his condition was suicidal. So maybe somebody slipped it to him. Uh, there's not much here, except for about half a rainforest worth of mahogany. Mr. Sanderson likes to keep his demons in his head. Well, that'll make it hard to pick up the pieces of one. We'll manage. So, Mr. Hughes, uh, what is it exactly that you do in simple terms? We provide expertise during takeovers, for example. We help with the funding. We also, of course, issue bond analysis. You mean like the borough of Queens Municipal Operated the AAA? Not that high, but yes, that's us. APM fundraiser, make we'll a little foundation. Jacket, What's that? This one or that Mr. One Sanderson had a lot of charities, but only one the night that he died. He got a location. The Spectre Tower. He was Mr. Spectre's guest at a thousand dollar plate dinner for other privileged kids. US but the real point of the evening was to build a model for the new stadium complex. Oh yeah, the new Spectre Stadium. Medium. The one that's gonna displace ten thousand underprivileged kids. Let me see this yeah, it says for kids. That's one point of view. Did he have 